Hello, and thank you for agreeing to be part of this mass migration exercise. I would like to welcome you to play, and I want to walk you through Moodle. I know for most of our students, you are not used to using Moodle, so I want to give you a brief introduction to how you navigate this site. When you first log in, you usually see a section down here on the right that has all of your new classes. And you want to click on the one that says Disaster Preparedness Mass Migration 2022. When you do, it will bring you to this page. And the first thing you should do is, as a new participant, is to come down here to the Mass Migration Exercise Welcome and Overview. And if you view this recording, it will walk you through what the next week is going to consist of and what the expectations are of you. The next video I would like you to watch is this video that is a video from the scene. Now, the reality is this is old video of Hurricane Mitch many years ago, but it is what this event is partially based on. Of course, we took a lot of liberties with what we did in our piece of the exercise. But take a look at this video and it will give you an idea of how devastating a hurricane can be and especially how devastating it can be with mass flooding. The next thing you will do is you will open up this document, which is the Table of Days of Major Play by Tent. And this quickly shows you that not every tent, as we call them, is going to have a major amount of play every day. Some tents, like medical, play more than others. Then I want you to take a look at your assigned role. Now that you know what the exercise is about, open this Excel spreadsheet and it will give you a list of what your role is and what, and essentially what tent you're in and what day you begin play. When you open the Excel spreadsheet, find your name and to the right of your name, it will say either medical, human services, public health, or incident command. That is your tent. To the right of that, it will then say, I mean, right below that, it will then say what your role is. So it may say you're the team leader. Or it may say that you don't enter until day two or day three. Be sure if there is a date, know that that means you are part of the people that are being requested that will show up not on day one, but maybe day two or day three. And then pay attention to the initial role I have assigned to you. Once you are in your tents, if the team decides to move people to different roles, that's okay. You can feel free to do that. If you want to swap out the role of team leader, that's okay too. But just make sure that you know which roles everyone is playing. You will also notice in that document, it has all of your names and all of your email addresses. It allows you to reach out to your team if for some reason you are not seeing a team member active in the discussion board. The next document is a player handbook. And the player handbook is very detailed and it gives you a whole lot of details that will be helpful to you, but not everyone will probably want to read the whole thing. It's helpful to you if you do. The next document is your site map. And the site map is the map of the, uh, of the facility where you are gonna be, which is essentially an old military base. The base is fictional. But the site map actually isn't. It came from uh, a refugee camp. So take a look at that because you're going to need to figure out where you're going to be working 
within your camp. There is an exercise evaluation guide. The last day of this exercise is actually a hot wash, and we want everyone to participate in that. I have a document that shows what is expected of each of you as participants, so please open this and take a look at it. We have a spot where we will place announcements each day, and then we have basic incident command system information. So every day we will place an announcement in here, and, and you should be sure and take a look at that. It's how uh, the people who are controllers might share information with you that we want to go to absolutely everyone and not just to 110. Now, the next section is simulated exercise and all players will interact here and everyone will have access here. It gives you some overview information to please take a look at. But the other thing it does here is it gives you a little bit of information about migration trends in the United States for background information. And then this section is where you will put your daily reports. And each evening at 6 p.m., every team needs to submit a daily report. And the daily report will be done in a PowerPoint format and there is a template in, the, in each of your tents, which I will show you in a moment. But at the end of the day, at 6 p.m., I want you to upload that PowerPoint into the appropriate day of the exercise. This is important because the ICS tent is going to go in and pull all of those, and they're going to make a situation report out of it, which will be shared with everyone the very next morning, and then you will know what the other tents are doing. Um, the daily briefings from the IC tent will be put here. Now, everybody won't necessarily see these, but it allows me to pull them, and I will then share them with, with Dr. McLaughlin, who will then make sure that an announcement goes out to each of you about the new events of the, of the day you are actually playing in. Let's move on to the tents. Each of the tents starts with some learning outcomes at the top, and then there is a document that's one to two pages that's just a bulleted document that talks to you about the roles that you need in your tent and what they actually do. You have information here, please read these, and then this is the daily briefing template I was talking about. Each tent has their own, and then you have other information. Here's the important part. This is your discussion board. And if you go into your discussion board, you will see that there is, there's nothing there right now. But what I want you to do is, I want you to enter all of the discussion within your tent in this section. If you do that and you put all of your discussions here, everybody, including the controllers, which are the faculty that are there to help you, will be able to see this. I think this will be really helpful to you. So please make sure that all the discussions happen here so that everyone can see what's being discussed and what is being done. If you have any questions, please either contact your controller or if you can't get them, you can text me and you should all have my cell phone number. The health department tent is here and it is set up the same as the medical tent. It shows you um, your area for discussion and who your controller is. The human services tent is here. It shows your controller which is me, and is set up the exact same way. And then finally, the incident command system. And this is actually going to be me and Robert, and I will get this changed. Um, the last part is the hot wash, and this will not open up until the last day of the exercise. 
but everyone will be asked to participate. And then finally, you will all be asked to fill out an evaluation and tell us how you thought it went, what you would like to see changed in the future. And, and then you will receive a separate email with a link to a survey from the Interprofessional Education Group about how well that piece of it went. I hope you enjoy this exercise. If you have any questions, my name is Roberta Lavin. Please feel free to reach out to me. You can email me or you can send me a text message. Thank you and enjoy the exercise.